It's just too deep. But it just goes to speak to our lack of boundaries. Good morning. Before we do this video, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the video. I mean, yeah, to the mental health. With me, your host, Kadeem. Um, first of all, I want to thank my um, fellow content creator, Brother Carlos King. Y'all should check his channel out. Um, I do uh, like to listen to his content um, because a lot of it is just real stuff. And what we suffer from, from uh, especially hood folk. Okay, I don't care, or I don't know if it happens in other communities. I'm talking about my community. And that is how we suffer from a lack of boundaries. It just is. It just is. And I think whenever you don't have an example of what a healthy boundary looks like, you can do sh shit like this and think there's not a problem. Well, he did a video, and I'm going to give you the backstory about this brother who caught his girlfriend in the house with his father. They alone together. And so this brother just exposed them on Facebook Live. Okay? Now, again, this I got this video from Carlos King. Y'all could go over there and check out his site because he has a lot of good content. Um, but this right here is one of the, is really profound in our community and I see a lot of people don't have no remorse about it I want to know how many brothers out there either they would admit it that they father tried to hit on a girl they father wanted to have sex with the same woman the son is having sex with or you got a brother that's trying to hit on your girl Lack of boundaries and lack of respect. And that's what's going to do us in. Well, at least that's one of the reasons. This right here was so disgusting to me. And I'm not just talking for the guy's sake. I'm talking about this low-down female that will be sitting around this man with some damn booty shorts on and don't have no remorse, don't think she's done anything wrong, and I want to know who she was raised by. See, a lot of these young women today, and I'm, I must be honest, don't have mother with. They ain't had no mother. They've been raised by the streets or be raised by whores or people who, haven't, who, who have no moral compass. Okay? Because anybody that's been taught a little something, something by an older woman, there's no way in the world she would be walking around any man half dressed and not um, fully attired, especially in her home, and she's there with another male, supposedly her father-in-law. Look, I'm going to shut up, and I'm going to let this play. And again, I got this from Brother Carlos uh, King's channel. Y'all check this brother out and for his other content. But this right here really had me up in arms because I know people that this has happened to. It's insane. People who have gotten shot or stabbed, um, family members over some fools. <laughs> so I don't know no other words to describe them as that haven't been given healthy boundaries. Okay, here we go. Let's see what they going on with this situation, man. What's going on? Three times? Shit, no. I started, man. I got a penis in the house. Why are you cooking in the house? He's trying to get him a little, a little, a little sample of that cat. Just like I found. She got some 
Come see Clever's eyes. What do we got? What do we got going on? Huh? Oh, look at Pop. Now, let me stop it right here. Because it's so shocking. Pop's just sitting in the kitchen, laid back with a T-shirt and some shorts on. Got beer and liquor. Eating food. And she talking about she in there fixing a plate for her man. I guess which is supposed to be him when he came in. Or either she lying, she was going to sit down and have a dinner with the father-in-law. The father-in-law got on coochie cutters, and she got on coochie cutters. Look at this bullshit. See? Help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord Jesus. That nobody think it's a problem with this. In this house. Nobody think it's a problem with this in this house. I mean, this is totally unacceptable. And the worst, it gets worse, okay? Because he don't feel like he got to leave. And she obviously don't feel like he has to leave. Except this is supposed to be his woman. She should have communicated that with the dad. Hey, did you talk to him? You know what I'm saying? This is a respect thing. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like this. I don't trust this at well, all. Well, this is something that, that we don't have, brother. Probably, we don't uh, have no Schultz, respect for each other. Schultz, 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 whatever the hell, MD. He said I don't care if his father and son, if his brother Cain and Abel, we've lost our sense of respect. We just, it, 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 this is so immorally just insane that they don't see nothing wrong with her sitting up in here with some coochie cutter shorts on and the man got on shorts he's sitting back in the table drinking Let me. <laughs> now she told me to go sit down She said he don't gotta go. stop and let me go one more thing he said 
that technically it's not your house because his mama left him the house. So see, somebody got to pay for it. Somebody paying the taxes. She pro- So obviously she left it with the person that was more responsible, okay? She didn't leave it to his punk ass. And now he's sitting up here talking about technically it ain't your house, no way. And your girlfriend is saying you ain't got to go nowhere. Both of them will be out of my house. Now, I don't know what say y'all. But if you don't say that, you got stinking thinking. Period. Stinking thinking. Because no sane and rational person would even be sitting up in a house like this with a man in the house. And you, this is, it, it, listen, there's a scripture, and I hate to go here, y'all. But y'all know I, 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 I don't use it for that purpose. I know how to eat the meat and take away the bone. The Bible says, shun the very appearance of evil. You got to shun that, the very appearance of it. Now, now y'all don't want to think that scripture is relevant, but it is. Because this is a sorry-ass woman, and he need to kick her out. Because let me tell y'all something. Y'all might think y'all in control of shit, men, but hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. The woman, what's the most important piece on the chessboard? A woman. Okay, you can you can make it all crazy if you want to, but this goes back thousands of thousands of years, okay, when they played chess. When you capture the queen, then you know that game over, right? Because she is the prize. Your woman is your earth. Your woman is your prize. Do you understand this woman? Women, those of y'all who ain't even thinking healthy, it, it don't matter what your preference is. The very nature of how you made means you can bring forth nations. You can bring forth nations. That's why when you go to Egypt and you see who is that, I could not, who is that you see? with the the king and the queen walking down they don't get to walk he's slightly ahead of her i always bring this up because that was so deep for me to see that because what it's showing you is this is my queen and i'm going to protect her with everything in me see we got it wrong because we on this european this eurocentric shit that make you think ak is is it's the tenth of everything else the eighth but when you get to America, ach, or when you come to the devil's uh, a layer of reading the calendar, ach means 10. How is that? Everybody know an octagon got eight sides. Okay? So it's even in the language with the corruption. I don't want to go off and get deep. But the fact that this queen supposedly, see, she hasn't elevated to that level. And if you got somebody like this in your household, raising your nation, you in trouble. You're in trouble. This is the most hideous, insane stuff because as you go as it goes on, they get to fighting about the situation. Oh, let me shut up. Let me let this go. Now they fight. Okay, I'm going to stop it because it 
just is is just going on, um, and he calling his father, you know, names and telling him. But what's what's bothering me is that the father ha hasn't left. He said he ain't going nowhere. Now I'm gonna stop this video right now. I don't know how many y'all know a situation like this, been in a situation like this, no other situation, but it happens all the time. See, because this is what happens when you don't have clear boundaries and you've been raised in a dysfunctional situation. Your father don't think nothing about coming over there and trying to screw your woman. <sighs> I'm done. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and share my channel. And, and, and I want to know what y'all think. Am I, am I 